Hi guys and thanks for clicking on this video. It's only going to be a quick one today because it's everybody's favourite time of the week, it's mail time. So I've got a couple of packages that arrived today. I think my site for the new Hoyt Proforce is in this box here and I've actually completely forgotten what I ordered in this one here. Um, so let's have a look. All oh, right. When I started filming these videos, I was only using my phone camera to do so, and as a result, the sound quality was not that great. So then after someone made the suggestion, I started using the hands-free kit to record the sound, and it made a bit of a difference. And then once I bought the new camera, I thought the microphone on that would be pretty good as well, so I stopped using the hands-free kit. The sound quality went a little bit downhill, so I started using that again. And what I then decided to do was order a lavalier microphone just so that I can try and improve the sound quality for you guys once again. So that's what I've got here. It's a microphone made by a company called Tika, T-Y-C-K-A. Pretty cheap off of eBay. I think it cost me $25 or something like that. Um, I did do a bit of reading as far as the reviews were concerned and it seemed to have some pretty good feedback from other people. So what's inside the box we've got the microphone which is in a steel enclosure and the jack seems to be the same size as what plugs into a mobile phone i'll give you guys a close-up look of that in a minute so what else have we got in the box let's have a look um, nice little bag and what have we got in the bag? So there should be a microphone cover in here somewhere. There's a clip. There seems to be another couple of adapters. Um, this one here lets you hook up a microphone and headphone style. And this one here lets you hook the microphone up to a USB, a mini USB. What else is in the bag here? Um, we've got a little sponge microphone cover. So there seems to be one more thing up, a spare microphone cover. So unfortunately no dead cat for the microphone, but hopefully the little sponge cover will do the job. Um, I can always buy a dead cat off of uh, eBay if I need to. Um, in the bag or in the box as well, we've got a little Velcro tie down and a maintenance chart okay so a manual with a maintenance schedule chart on it i'll have a look at that later um, so that's everything that came with the microphone which is pretty cool hopefully that'll make the sound a little bit better for you guys like i said and then we'll have a look and see what's in this box So I did buy my site secondhand um, for the prices that these things are and how much money I spend on the Pro Force. I didn't really have a lot of money left over afterwards. So sometimes secondhand is a good idea because you save a lot of money and if it's been looked after, it's still just as good as if you bought a brand new one. Um, a lot of the archery equipment is made very well. So as far as warranties and things are concerned, generally speaking, if it's a pretty decent brand and it's a good quality item, you're not going to need a warranty, but if that's what you're after, then my recommendation would obviously be for you to buy new. So what I ended up getting is a Shibuya Ultima site. Uh, it just so happens to have a nine inch carbon bar on it. Um, six inch would probably do fine, but this is what was available at the time. Uh, the one thing that I do like about it is it's got the quick move if you need to make big adjustments in a hurry. My dad on his bow has a target sight as well and it doesn't have that feature. So if we're shooting and we're doing a 20 meter shot and then the next shot 70 meters or something like that, if we're shooting field, he sits there for a long time turning that to get his sight adjusted to where it needs to be. Um, this will be my first dedicated target sight. I've only used sort of spot hog hunting type sights before. Had the Hoggett, then I had the Fast Eddy XL 
and I've got the hog fiber on this bow over here. So this, as I said, will be my first dedicated target sight. I've never used one before. It'll be interesting to see how the um, second and third axis adjustment goes on it. It does look like it has um, both of those adjustments on the sight block. Um, I'll be learning as I go because it's all new to me. So that's the sight itself. Uh, that'll be the block that mounts it onto the bow. And then it also came with a Titan scope, um, which is a smaller scope to what I'm used to using. And I've never used a scope with a dot. I've always been a pin shooter. So this is all new to me as well. We'll see how we go. The nice thing about buying secondhand sometimes as well though, is that you get a couple of optional extras thrown in and you still end up spending less money than you would have if you bought new. So this one came with a four times lens in the scope. Um, and then it also has a six times lens that can be interchanged into the scope as well. So I'm not going to say how much I spent buying that. Um, all you guys need to know is that it was way cheaper than buying it new. So secondhand, sometimes a good idea. Um, if it's good quality gear that's being looked after, you shouldn't have any troubles as far as that's concerned. I definitely look forward to setting this up on the Proforce. Um, I like the fact that it's lighter than my Hogfather because the Proforce does seem to be slightly top heavy being a shoot through riser design. So that's it for today. Hopefully this microphone will increase the sound quality of my videos for you guys even more. And I really can't wait to set the bow up with the new site. And remember to like this video, leave a comment if you choose to, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel and remember to click the little bell icon so that you get a notification each time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.